Continuing to cover breaking news here on SportsCenter as well from the NBA. The Clippers have agreed to a deal that sends Blake Griffin to the Detroit Pistons. Our Adrian Wojnarowski reporting this news just moments ago. In exchange for Blake Griffin going to Detroit, the Clippers will get Tobias Harris, Avery Bradley, Boban Marjanovic, a first and second round draft pick. And the Clippers will also send Bryce Johnson and Willie Reed to Detroit to complete the deal. Chauncey Billups once played for the Clippers. He was a teammate of Blake Griffin. He joins us now here on SportsCenter. Uh, Chauncey, what do you make of the Clippers deciding to move on from Blake Griffin? I was a little surprised. I mean, obviously you heard all the reports about DJ possibly being moved, Lou Williams. Uh, Blake, you know, surprises me. But I'm happy for Detroit. I'm happy for the Pistons. I think, you know, getting an all-star caliber player like Blake, um, pairing him with, with, with Drummond, in a new arena down in the city. and I mean, I think it's great uh, for the franchise. What does it say about the Clippers, Chauncey, if they believe now is the time to move Blake Griffin? Well, you know, there's a lot that could be read into that, Mike. I mean, you know, obviously, um, I don't know if they're going to rebuild. You know, you, you, you don't just give up a, that kind of player and not get an all-star back. Um, unless you're really just move, ready to move past the guy. Um, me, as a guy that's played with Blake, I mean, Blake has never been an issue. Blake comes, he works his behind off. Um, been unfortunate to have some injuries. But, I mean, he, 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 when he's out there, he balls, and he plays well, and he's an all-star caliber player, um, and he's exciting to watch. So it was a little surprising to me. So with that being said, you've heard the names that are also involved in this trade that the Clippers will receive from Detroit in exchange for yeah. Blake Griffin. How would you assess what L.A. got in return? Well, they got some good players. I mean, obviously, you know, uh, Doc, I'm sure, was, was was happy to have Avery Bradley back um, uh, coaching him in Boston. But, but not only that, I mean, Tobias Harris, I think, is a young star with all-star potential, averaging 18 points a game this year. Um, Boban is, you know, a serviceable big that can come off your bench. And then, you know, the big thing is getting that first-round pick. You know, um, when you're the Clippers and you may be maybe not rebuilding but retooling a little bit, you get a first-round pick um, to go along in a pick like that I think is good. I mean, obviously, Avery Bradley will be a free agent this summer. They're going to have a decision to make on him. Lou Williams will be a free agent this summer. you have a decision to make on him. So, you know, they, they, they'll have some decisions to make coming up this summer, but they got some good players in the, in, in the trade, but not an all-star, you know. So that, that's uh, it's, it's kind of crazy to look at that. Yeah, but they did get that first-round draft pick, as you said. They entered the day one game out of the eighth seed in the West, but maybe this is the change in direction for the Clippers going forward. Chauncey Billis, appreciate the perspective here on SportsCenter. All right, Mike, we take a look at him. The 29-year-old Griffin signed that five-year, $173 million deal with the Clippers this past offseason. But once again, the injury bug, as it has throughout his career, cost him time this year. Over the last four seasons, Griffin has only played in 66% of the possible games he could have played in. He only missed four games total over his first four seasons. Still ahead on Sports Center, it was a move now that is done. Blake Griffin leaving LA for Detroit. More perspective and reaction to the blockbuster coming up next on Sports Center. Sports Center is brought to you by the new limited series, The Alienist, now on TNT.